Bienvenidos a Guadalajara. We're exploring Guadalajara, Mexico's second largest city and the capital of the Jalisco state. This area is known for some of Mexico's cultural icons, including mariachi music and tequila production. We're also going to visit the Rounded Pyramids. Let's go check it out. First, we travel about one hour from central Guadalajara to Guachimontanas, a famous archaeological site that contained the remnants of a lost civilization dating back approximately 2,000 years old. Bienvenidos a Guachimontanas! We are here at the archaeological site in Jalisco. These are circular pyramids, very unique archaeological find that they found here in the 70s. Our guide said that the area was protected by the locals for a long time. The locals knew about it, but once it became an archaeological site, they would get their land taken away by the government. So they didn't say anything for a long time, and now it has been discovered. And look at this. We are at the Juego de Pelota area, where they played the famous ball game, the ball courts. So let's check this out. It is a rainy day here, but it's very atmospheric. We're close to the volcano called Volcano Tequila. Tequila. Two montanas. You can see there's multiple circular pyramids. Apart from one other smaller pyramid in Mexico City, these are the only round pyramids in the world. So we are at one of the sites called La Iguana. It's one of the best preserved circular pyramids and they used to have a ritual at the top. They had a flying dancer at the top. They found evidence of it on some of the artwork and they also found a pole and he would swing around the top. Sounds very dizzy, but that's what they found here. It's kind of majestic being here in the rain. If you like these views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button down below. This is the main stadium. Regional dimensions. That's why it's impossible to reconstruct. They will make something completely new. Yeah. And also it will be too expensive. And the, the archaeologists, they say, if you cut the trees, take the roots out, everything will collapse. That's mm. true, yeah. <laughs> Now, it's time to climb the pyramid to see what we find at the top. We made it to the top! Woo. From the top, we see an expansive view of the Tequila Valley and the pyramids. The largest one rises 60 feet high, constructed without any modern tools. You might be able to tell where we're going on our next stop as we drive through a grove of blue agaves. That's right, we're headed to Tequila, the town known as being the birthplace for tequila, one of Mexico's most well-known exports. We're at the Los Tres Tonos Distillery to see how this famous spirit is made. It takes roughly seven years for the agave to be ready for harvest. They're brought in daily, and the core of the agave called the piña is then baked and then fermented. We peek inside the large stainless steel tanks, which contain the yeast, water, and agave. We're inside the tequila factory. How was everything? It's sweet. It's wow. At the same time, you, you yeah. taste the plant. More agave. Wow, it's really sweet. After it's distilled, it's then aged and bottled. We check out the bottling facility where the finished product is then labeled and branded for a variety of different clients. Now, time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the taste test. We are at the Tequila Distillery. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this area where they grow agave. And we're gonna taste the tequila now. And it ranges from the white tequila all the way to the dark ones that have been aged in the barrels. We consider Añejo is at least one year, maximum three years in the barrels. Salud. Salud. 
we brought home a tasting set of the tequila silver and gold and then tour the facility, which include a number of animals and birds. Bienvenidos a Jalisco. We just finished touring the tequila factory and distillery here today. We tried a number of really good tequilas, brought back so many memories, and look at this. We're in the Gavi fields now. The whole entire landscape here is blue, the blue agave everywhere. The origins of tequila date all the way back to the Aztecs, who made a similar drink in the year 250. In 1974, the Mexican government declared tequila intellectual property of Mexico, and it can only be produced here and in certain Mexican states. You can stay in a tequila barrel here. It's so cute. We're gonna go get lunch in here. But first, we take an antibacterial shower, followed by a real shower from an unexpected rainfall. We're in a mango forest. At La Cofredia, you can stay in rooms shaped like tequila barrels, or you can check out the restaurant, which is known for its mariachi music. Kardashian girl's Kendall Jenner is trying to make tequila and she came here. The restaurant looks like a cathedral and has agave touches from the bar to the lighting. After lunch, the streets of tequila became waterways as we got stuck in an unexpected downpour here in June. We head back to Guadalajara Centro to check out the city. Look at all the different colors. Building is from the 1500s. Walking around El Centro, we reach Hospico Cabanas, which is now a museum. It was once the oldest and largest hospital complexes in the Americas. It was founded in 1791 and now houses the monumental frescoes by Jose Clemente Orozco. We are at El Museo Cabanas here in Guadalajara. It's in this beautiful plaza and as you can see the rain dried up but the museum's closed we're still gonna get a look because it looks like a castle guadalajara centro harmoniously intertwines the past and present with preserved colonial buildings and modern squares this is one of the streets here in guadalajara you can walk down the center but there's cars on either side. And then just random buildings. This one kind of reminds us of Cuba. So one very interesting thing about Guadalajara is that everywhere you walk, there is a church. So there's one right there. Another thing you'll note about Guadalajara is you'll see a church like this, right next to very new construction. So it's just a mix, like there's no real zoning. So you'll see like these newer modern buildings that don't look very nice next to the ones that look very nice. And each one of these churches is just marvelous. Another thing is if you're here on the weekends, you'll frequently see weddings here and quinceañeras, very, very popular. This is the view from the top of the double tree in El Centro, Zona Centro, in Guadalajara. The hotel has a view of the icon of the skyline, the Cathedral de Guadalajara, built in 1561 and known for its neo-Gothic spires. 
Central Historico is the perfect place to base yourself during your trip to Guadalajara as it's filled with colonial plazas, churches, and stately buildings. Look at how beautiful, it just finished raining and now we have this magical illuminated city. Look at this gorgeous gazebo. This is the government palace. So we are staying at the Doubletree by Hilton El Centro right here and we just had dinner up at the rooftop. It was so gorgeous. The views were incredible. It is 21 o'clock and it's like we're in a movie set. Look at this. Just finished raining so it smells kind of like that after rain earth smell. Nobody's out. Clear skies, illuminated city, it's pretty magical. You hear the bells, and this right here is a theater from the 1700s. Hola chicos, estoy en Guadalajara. Este es el capital de Jalisco. Oh, Wow, this is not every day that you get to see a theater that looks like you're at the Pantheon in Rome. So amazing. Look at this lighting. It's lit up like this kind of majestic red color. It's so cool. I just can't believe that nobody's around. It looks completely different at night than it does during the day. We hope that you get a chance to visit the magic of Guadalajara very soon. Don't forget to smash that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe because we have many more travel videos coming up, including of Mexico.